to the 2017 Lawrence Adult Learning Center High School Equivalency Graduation Ceremony. My name is Mary Giordano and I am principal of the Adult Learning Center. At this time, I'd like to ask everyone to please stand, face the flag, and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I'd ask you to remain standing. I have a wonderful group, the Lawrence and Harmony Choir, are going to join us on stage to sing the national anthem. Mr. Mayor, City Councilors Giovanni Rodriguez and Myra Ortiz, Representative Moran, Representative Matias, teachers, family, friends, graduates, welcome. This has been a great year for us and for our test center. Over this school year, we have tested 568 individual testers, 8% in the whole state of Massachusetts. We supported 93 people accomplishing their high school equivalency, including all of you that are sitting in front of us tonight. In order to reach these accomplishments, we are very lucky to have an extremely supportive staff at the Lawrence Adult Learning Center. I want to first thank Jasmine Paulino, who is our high set chief examiner, and Sandra Guzman, who is our high set examiner, who helped all of these students take their tests at our test center. Jasmine and Sandy. Many of you who, whom we are honoring tonight have been supported by others besides Jasmine and Sandy. 
A large number of the students sitting here tonight come from through the Adult Learning Center and other such programs throughout Massachusetts and the Merrimack Valley. The staff of the Adult Learning Center joins me on stage and in recognizing them, I would also like to recognize teachers, advisors, directors, and support staff from all of the other programs that have contributed to your success. Would all those who have helped these men and women succeed in their program please stand and be recognized. And to the graduates, we are so honored to be part of your life's journey. Today's ceremony celebrates your academic achievement as well as your courage that you have shown by going back to the classroom and acquiring your high school diploma. Be very proud of who you are and what you have accomplished. We have a number of distinguished guests, and each of them would like to congratulate you as well. So first, I would like to re recognize and introduce the mayor of the city of Lawrence, Mayor Dan Rivera. Good evening. Thank you very much for being here to support this great class, folks, folks in the audience. And for me, it is an honor to be here with you today. What you've accomplished is a great, great thing. On, on, on many instances, under great pressure and stress. I always think about this graduation, about folks who have the courage to come back to finish something. And finishing something is the thing. And you guys have done just that. So from the mayor of your city, I want to give you congratulations. And thank you on behalf of the citizens for doing just that. And hopefully with your families tomorrow, you'll celebrate. And then sometime next week, you guys get right back at it, working hard again to accomplish something else. Thank you. He's much taller than me, so it's hard for him to speak through the microphone. I'll try to make sure it's up high enough for everybody else. Also from the mayor's office, we have additional certificates congratulating you from the city of Lawrence that you will receive from this, with the certificates from the Adult Learning Center. Next, I would like to introduce Representative Frank Moran, who is one of our largest supporters in the State House for Adult Ed. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Yo le quiero dar las gracias. First, I'm going to say it in Spanish, then I'm going to say it in English after, right? So, le quiero dar las gracias a todos ustedes, a, a su familia, pero primer, primeramente a ustedes, por tomar la iniciativa de saber lo importante que es la educación y cómo seguir para adelante. Right? Ustedes vieron una oportunidad y dijeron, si hago, si tomo esta iniciativa y ese sacrificio que ustedes hicieron, ¿no es que sí? Porque usted, muchos de ustedes trabajan de 8 de la mañana a 5 de la tarde. A las 5 de la tarde lo único que tú quieres hacer es ir a tu casa, ¿no? Porque está cansado o quiere eh, estar con tus hijos o con tu esposo. Y lo que haces es, debe de hacer eso, dicen, no, pues voy directamente a la escuela. Porque yo sé lo importante que la educación es para mí y para mis hijos. Le va a abrir muchas puertas en el futuro para conseguir un mejor trabajo y espero que sigan adelante. No es que sí, siga tomando metas. Esta es una meta de ustedes. Set goals for yourselves, right? This is one of your goals. It's all about goal settings in life. You know, I, I, I used to tell my kids, or I still do, set goals for yourself, develop a roadmap how to get there, then execute it, right? Ustedes necesitan hacer lo mismo. Hagan un mapa. Mañana, ya esta es su primer, primera meta que ya ustedes lograron hoy. La primera meta de ustedes era conseguir el high set, el diploma. Mañana levántense de nuevo y digan, tomorrow I'm going to get up and I'm going to set another goal for myself. Mañana tiene que levantarse y decir, mi próxima meta será X, Y, and Z, right? Y hacer el mapa cómo llegar allá and then execute it. Le quiero las gracias a todos ustedes. I want to thank everybody for, for, for being here, supporting your students. They have done a tremendous job, a lot of sacrifices away from the family. 
I know you guys feel it at home, especially some of the husbands that doesn't know how to cook, like I don't know how to cook. <laughs> so I want to thank you for supporting them. And uh, again, tomorrow get up, do something else. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise that you can't do it because you can. Congratulations. Next, I'd like to introduce another representative from our State House who is also a very strong supporter of adult ed, and that's Representative Juana Matias. Good evening, everyone. Buenas noches. It's truly, truly a pleasure and honor to be here with all of you today. It's been a week full of graduations, right? I've had the pleasure to witness so many people who have been dedicating their efforts, their energy, and time to ensuring that they're moving forward. First and foremost, good evening, administrators, faculty, friends, families, and most importantly, graduates. Congratulations on your achievement, and thank you for allowing me to be part of tonight's ceremony. I would like to begin by acknowledging the invaluable work that the Adult Learning Center does for so many adult learners in the city of Lawrence. By focusing their attention on the learning needs of each individual, the, the Adult Learning Center is prioritizing its students and is helping provide our residents with the tools they need to broaden their horizons. I arrived to this country when I was five years old. Like many of you, I did not speak English. I was fortunate that I had parents much like yourselves who were committed not only to my own education, but their own as well. They took many of the same courses that you're taking, faced similar obstacles, and were able to push ahead. They imparted onto me the value of my education, hard work, and the importance of being bilingual, and their drive to succeed. I look out to this class of graduates, and I see individuals who are bold enough to take on the challenge of returning to school to gain the necessary skills to improve their lives and the lives of their families. Recently, we had some of you join us at the State House where you all shared your aspirations with me. I heard about your desires to give back to our community, to start a business, and to help others. Because of your courage and relentless dedication to your education, I am confident that Lawrence's best days are ahead. The skills that you will take with you from the Adult Learning Center are skills that you will be able to use every day. The knowledge you have acquired will continue to benefit you as you continue to attain your educational and professional goals. I applaud your hard work thus far, and while the path will not be easy, I ask you to stay encouraged and persistent. My hope is that you will continue to pursue your future goals with greater drive than the one that led you to this accomplishment. I wish you and every single one of you the best of luck. Thank you, class of 2017, and congratulations. I'm going to try this again. OK. Um, next, we have chosen five students, five graduates, to, as student speakers. They each have a unique story to tell of how they arrived at this celebration. So our first speaker I'd like to introduce is Paula Kellyman. Good evening, guests, teachers, graduates, and of course, well wishers. My name is Paula Kellyman. I am from Jamaica. Wagwan, everyone. That's how we say what's happening in Jamaica. <laughs> As a child growing up, I always visualized myself excelling in life by graduating from high school, going to college, and operating my own business. But I made some poor decision. I thought my dreams were crushed. I became a parent at age 15, which was too soon. Nevertheless, I was and still am a very good mom of four beautiful kids. Being a parent has been a challenge, but look at life like this. Life itself is a challenge. 
Sometimes we think we have reached our limit and we can't go any further, which I can truly admit, I have been in that spot on more than one occasion. But deep down I knew I had to keep going. I was taught you have to make the best of what you have. In fact, I did own and operate my own business back in Jamaica. It was a successful business. I left it to move here in hopes for a better life. I migrated to the US December 17, 2016 with my two younger children, Tiana and Sian. But after doing my research, I knew living here would be different. I came to live with my sister in Massachusetts because my research showed the education system here was rated better than where my other sisters lived in New York. I wanted my kids to get the best education. I was also told about an adult school nearby. I thought I have no time to waste and I got myself enrolled in the Matuan Adult <coughs> Learning Center. The third day of January 2017. I took advantage of the classes they had to offer. I started to relieve those dreams as a child. I wanted to excel in school, but listen, it was not easy. It was not easy at all. There were days I wanted to give up. There were days I felt I couldn't manage. There were days I struggled to make it into school. Here in US, age doesn't make a difference, but I was out of school almost 30 years. But I found the courage to continue. I found the courage to get up each day and go to school. Even when I felt I just wanted to quit. I knew I had to work harder. I knew I owed it to myself. I had no room inside me for failure. And of course, Susan, the director of our program, she would call you on any given day you didn't show up. This was an opportunity, and when opportunity knocks, you have to grab it. I gave it my all. And of course, my teacher, Krista, she believed in me. At times, she believed in me more than I believed in myself. I told my teacher I'm not ready, but she told me I was ready. So I said, okay, I will try. Her believed in me helped me believe more in myself. For me, showing up in class was just a 30% for being there. I had to find the other 70% by giving it my all, in which I did. By the way, it did pay it off. I achieved my ISET. Yes, I did. I am proud to say I achieved my ISET in four months. This is, this is not the ending for me. The work has just begun because I'm now on my way to college where I will, and I mean I will, get my college degree. Again, I would like to tell you, my friends, hard work and perseverance does pay off. If you don't have a test, you don't have a testimony. Learn from your situations and improve, or stay stuck in your position. There are always obstacles and bridges in our lives, but I have learned that bridges and walls are made to get over not to stay stuck at them. Just take some time and regroup and get over that bridge. Believe in yourself. You can do it. I did. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Our next speaker, is Magdalena Castro.
I want to first of all thank my teachers for not running in fear of my weirdness. <laughs> and my parents for believing I had it in me even though I didn't believe in myself. My friends too for keeping me headstrong and keeping my head up straight. <laughs> <laughs> Most of all, I want to thank my brothers for checking up on me every day and letting me know how proud they were of me. Thinking back, I remember why I enjoy school, new people who blessed my life with lessons and old friends who brought all of me back. All throughout my life, I was told there was, more, there was two paths, the road to success and the road to failure. No one ever told me that there was much, no one ever told me that there was much more to these paths. Over time, I learned, to my, learned for myself that there isn't any path that will be easy, that every road is a hard road. I learned many lessons from watching others and on my own. But the one lesson I learned was it's not how you fall, but how you get back up. There is always a silver lining. And there will always be much worse coming to pull you down. And just know it's lessons to make you stronger and make you the person you were meant to become. My road to this moment hasn't been an easy one. For most, it isn't. I've gone through many paths, don't get me wrong. I started this path with the thought of finishing this one step. I've lost track two times in a row. First time I lost track due to health. Second time I lost hope in myself. <laughs> and I let my anxiety get the best of me. Ugh. But this time I went in headstrong even when I lost sight. I kept thinking of the future, of how ashamed I would feel telling my child I never graduated. Sorry. <laughs> so I fought my inner voice, saying I didn't have it in me. Through life, I've dealt with so many cracks in my path. I've tumbled and stumbled, my toes everywhere. I've wondered to myself how I would explain to everyone who hasn't or has finished this one step in life, how I would pass down how much this means to me and how it affects your life and opens up new roads to a better life. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Follow your passion. Stay true to yourself and never follow someone else's path. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most of all, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. Ease up on yourself. Have the compassion for yourself and for your, as well for others. There's no such thing as perfection. I'm running away. <laughs> Our third speaker this evening is Maria Alvarado. Good evening, everyone. My name is Maria Selena Alvarado. I am from El Salvador. Jim Carrey, the famous American comedian, once said, life opens up opportunities to you, and you either take them or you stay afraid of taking them. That's exactly what I did. In 2016, one morning I wake up and I realized I was 45 years old. 
I thought I was too, I thought it was too late to study, yet I decided to give it a try. My first uh, few days of school, I really thought I was not going to be able to ac accomplish anything. I felt insecure and unprepared because other classmates had made it so far. See, I was a child soldier in my country for 12 years, from the age of nine until I was 21 years old. During the war years, I didn't attend school. School wasn't part of my life before the war either. In other words, I didn't know how to read, write, or do basic math. Therefore, when I started at the adult learning center, my reading, writing, and math education came from the random opportunities I had during the war when I sought out fellow soldiers to help me. For example, I asked them to write basic math problems or teach me how to write a simple sentence. I would practice this whether I had an opportunity until I mastered what I was on the paper. As for reading or once I learned the alphabet, I started putting words together once I learned how to read, I would hold onto any book or piece of newspaper that came my they came my way. This became my treasures until I lost them in the process of moving from places to places, build to build in the mountains. After the war, my dream was to attend school. The government in El Salvador offered a scholarship for the veterans. However, these were given to those who had at least eighth grade education. I had no formal schooling or reach. I reached a road lock. <clears throat> when I came to the United States a year later, I went to live in California. One day I was reading in the train. I was reading a book as, as was my habit. A young man approached me and asked me if I had gotten the book from the library. I told him I didn't know what he was talking about. The truth was, <clears throat> the truth was that I didn't know what a library was. Oh, the joy I felt when I entered a library for the first time and saw all the books I could read. My biggest challenge during my high school preparation was math because it was the it was the subject I received the least exposure to. I realized I needed to dedicate more time to math. I focused first on the other content subject. First, once I passed them, math became my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I talked about math all the time. Whether I went to whoever who listened. My children can attend, attest that, to that. Math also <coughs> appeared in my dreams. It was the last test I took. In December 2016, I finished my high school preparation. It had taken me a whole year to achieve the dream. As for my future goal, I am thinking or of pursuing a career in business because I would like to be more involved in my family uh, business. My husband and I own a marble and granite company for 70 years. My children are older now and in two heads. My husband and mine think much better than one. I just finished my first semester at Northern Exit Community College. And I already <laughs> and I already 
started summer classes which end in August. Again, I was afraid when I started classes at Northern Essex. But after a while, it disappeared. It felt more confident with the classes and also with the teachers. Looking back in my life, I see the array of people who have helped me to get where I am today. I think of God, a community of fellow soldiers, friends, family, and classmates, and staff of the Adult Learning Center to say that throughout these years, and especially the time at the Adult Learning Center. I wasn't afraid it would be a lie. I was very anxious, afraid, and apprehensive. Nevertheless, I walked right into the opportunities life was offering to me. Courage is not absence of fear, but the ability to continue in spite of fear. I applaud us all for arriving at our destination so far because I know we will continue moving on the next phase in our academic journey. As Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Go take on, on the world. Thank you all.
nice and welcoming and did not think twice about my age or look at me weird because I had not finished high school. And I thought that there were many people like me and right then and there, I decided to give it a go. That was in October 2016 and by November I had passed all of my tests. I took a lot of work home, never missed a class, asked a lot of questions and made sure I understood. And for that, I thank Mr. O'Brien and Ms. Zielinski to their, for their patience and advice. You guys definitely had a lot to do with that. Um, sorry, I lost my space. <laughs> okay. The story doesn't end there. As soon as I was done, I started trying to get a medical interpreter certification, and I was referred to the central office at Lawrence Public School to get financial aid. And uh, Rita at Lawrence Public Schools referred me to the correct place that I needed to go to, but also told me that they were looking for a translator and I should apply, which I did. The interviewing process had me on a nerve wreck, and there were about 10 to 14 applicants for only one position. I'm not gonna lie, I was skeptical about myself, and my high school certificate was only weeks old. But I guess I did something good because I got the job. This was the happiest day of my life, after giving birth, of course. Now I have been with Lawrence Public Schools for six months. I feel very blessed with this job, and I just finished my medical interpreter course and got my certificate. I bought a car, got an apartment, settled down, and I have only been back from the Dominican Republic for 10 months. My first step was my high sit, and everything followed from there. All that being said, don't lose focus, Continue on your goals. Do not listen to negative com comments. Anyone is able to reach what they put their heart and mind to. If I can do it, anyone can do it. My next goal is going back to college next year, and I hope that everyone that is graduating today does also. We need to change the controversy on the people in Lawrence that are, that the controversy of people in Lawrence always up to no good. We need to change the perspective of that. El que persevera triunfa, sorry. El que persevera triunfa, no dejen sus metas, sigan hacia adelante y cumplan todo lo que tienen que hacer para llegar a lo que quieren y necesitan. A special thanks to Donna Armstrong for being my mentor, Jocelyn, Mr. O'Brien, Mrs. Zelinski, Mary, and all the staff at Adult Learning Center. Thank you. Our final speaker from our students is Mr. Walter Rosario. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> um, I didn't have a speech. Um, well, first of all, everything started in the, you know, 2011 when I took a plane to come to the United States. Um, I met my wife back in 2007. Um, it's crazy, the story's crazy, because we met online. I'm not gonna believe this, man. Just, <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, it's crazy. So, you know, um, we met online through, you know, we had some friends, emails. I was working in a music project, she was a promoter at the time. And, you know, we started talking, she started visiting here and there. So, next thing you know, we got, we got, a, we got together, we took it serious to the next level. And we decided to, you know, to get married. So we did. Um, when I came to the United States, um, I thought it was gonna be, you know, really like amazing. I'm not gonna say that it's not, you know, it's cool. But you know, I, I thought it was gonna be super easy. Um, but it, it wasn't. It, it really wasn't. Especially, you know, when you, when you have to learn the language. You know, the environment is different. You know, nobody. You know, you're walking down the street, if somebody don't know you, they're not gonna look at you like they know you, like I'm not, I'm not in a party, you know what I'm saying? I'm walking down the street in DR, and I'm like, yo, what's good, my brother? You know what I'm saying? You know me saluda. But he is different, you know, it was kind of strange at times. So, you know, I had to get used to the system. So, I remember the first person that I met here at the Adult Learning Center was Joseph Martin, uh, right up there on, uh, 
on uh, Halo Street. So, you know, I'm walking down the street, I'm coming from the YMCA, I'm playing basketball with some of my friends, new friends, and, you know, I'm like, yo, I remember my sister-in-law, Yana, was telling me that, you know, I should get my GED. Let me, let me, let me stop by and see what's going on here, because I need these, because, you know, my pa, first in peace, uh, I remember he used to tell me, listen, little man, si tu no te metes para la escuela, tu no me tienes un problema. A mí no me importa cuánto años tú tienes, yo quiero, yo quiero que tú termines. BFO, we used to talk on the phone all the time, you know. And so I went to the to the school at the Oliver. And you know, when I get there, I'm like, I'm looking for, you know, somebody to, you know, assist me with some, you know, I'm trying to get the GED. And she said, oh, you, you came to the right right place. I signed up for classes, whatever. I went over there, dropped out like two months later, you know, I gotta get it, I gotta get a job. I'm new here. I need to get these jobs, I gotta pay these bills. Uh, they don't stop, by the way. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. So after that, um, I'm, I'm, I'm like thinking that everything is money in this country, man. What's going on? So I met this friend at work, and he's telling me, I'm working at a restaurant in Burlington, and he's telling me, yo, we're making this money. This is it for me, man. I'm going to become a bartender. I'm going to do this, I'm going to that. And in my head, I'm like, well, if I don't finish school, my pops might kill me. Um, mind you, I'm 25 almost 26, and I'm thinking, yo, I gotta get this education together. And next thing you know, I get fired for some, you know, whatever. Some, <laughs> I, I don't wanna get into details because it wasn't fair. You know, it wasn't fair, you know what I'm saying? If, if you imagine, you know, somebody doesn't like you because of his skin color. That ain't right. So, whatever. Um, next thing you know, I got a different job. I'm in the I'm in the food field. You know, I'm, I'm working at another restaurant. Um, then I get a different job after that. <clears throat> I didn't get fired in this one. <laughs> I left. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get this money because I have to pay these bills. But at the same time, I get an education so I can get to the next level. Like my pops used to tell me, Johan, tú tienes que conseguirte una educación para tú poder moverte para el próximo nivel. To get to the next level, you need an education. All right, pops, man, you know, I got these bills, man. Gotta pay these bills, remember, you know, these people's asking me for money all the time. You know, you know the story. Everybody's asking you for some money once you step on the, you know, the Logan Airport. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's asking you for some money. Yo, 50, la semana. Para resolverlo, sabe, lo vi allá. So, you know, anyway, so, months, years go by, and I come back to school. And Mary Giordano is right here. She, she hates me. <laughs> Yo, I used to go to school, man, like, you know, every, every, within a year I used to go like twice, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't right. But the thing is, you know, I used to go, when I didn't have a job, I was going to school. Well, I don't have a job, I got time now, let me go. Because I was so stressed. And, and everyone here in this room have the stress of, you know, you have to pay the bills. But we have to come to the realization that we need to get an education to get a better paying job. If we get that, then we're going to be comfortable. The bills won't go, we won't stop, trust me, but you're going to be better. You're going to do better. So, you know, dropped out again. Come back. Talk to Mr. Genorio. Shout out to Mr. Genorio. Love you, man. You're a man. So, so Come back to Mr. Ginorio. He's looking at me like if I have two heads, like, what's going on? I'm trying to try take this serious now? I'm like, yeah, man, I gotta do this. He's like, all right, I'm gonna give you a chance. Let me talk to the principal. I'm like, Jesus, he's gonna talk to me. He's gonna talk to her. I, I'm not getting this one. So, you know, he went over there, talked to her, whatever. He got me through, right? So, um, but I'm talking like, I dropped out. I was in and out all the time. So, the funny thing is that, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sound cocky, I don't wanna sound cocky right now, but I consider myself a smart person, and I, I, I was pretty good, but I wasn't getting through math. Then they put me with Mr. O'Brien, which I love and respect, man, for real. Um, so I took some classes with him, I learned some things, but I had to drop out again. Uh, at the time, you know, I took, uh, let me go back, I took, uh, 
about two or three tests and I passed them all, right? With, with a pretty good score. Um, but you know, my pops passed away during that time. Uh, it, it, was, uh, it was crazy, so you know, I had to do what I had to do. I gotta go to DR. Now I, have, I, I, I go from, I'm, I'm focusing now and I'm trying to make this happen, but I'm thinking I don't have a father. I wanna see my pops here, man. Like, I wanna, I wanna show him this diploma right here. Like I did it, I made it. Didn't happen, you know. Uh, but I know he's watching down on me right now. I know for sure he, he, he's there. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I know he, he's proud of me right now, for sure. I know. Wherever you are right now, I know you're watching right now. You know what I mean? So, I came back to school. I went to her office. Mrs. Uh, Mary Giordano, and again, he's looking at me like I'm crazy. Uh, listen, man, I'm gonna give you a chance, but you better get this serious. You miss one class, it's a wrap. I'm like, yo, I promise you, this is it. This is it. Mind you, what the, the, the first thing I wanted to do was, when I gave the diploma, I was like, Pops, look what I did. I'm doing it, and now next next thing is college, you know. Uh, and this is at this point right now, right now I tell you this for real. The, I'm not doing. I'm not even doing now this thing. I'm not even doing it for me. I'm doing it for them, my family, my wife, my two kids. I love you to death. Not a shame. Um, I encourage everyone in this room. I don't know if you finish high school or whatever. If you haven't done it, get to it. Because I'm telling you, getting the minimum wage out there and then right, it's not fair. And in order to get the, the high paying job, you're gonna get an, you need to get an education to, get it, to make it happen. Um, last but not least, I wanna say thank you to uh, Mary Giordano. Thank you, Enrique Ginorio, Raquel Gonzalez, Jasmine Paulino. Uh, man, you guys are amazing. If it wasn't for you, always encouraging me and telling me, Walter, you have to do this, man. Come on, you have, you have to do this. So, you know, you guys are always pushing me. My wife, Melissa, thank you so much. You always, you've been pushing me too. Pretty much all the time. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much. And number two, I never said that's a wrap. <laughs> Next, I'd like to introduce Mr. Enrique Genorio, a teacher from the Adult Learning Center who will make a special presentation. Buenas, buenas. Este, felicidades a todos los graduandos. <laughs> Uh, congratulations, graduates. Today is a time to fulfill a promise that I once offered to one of my students. It has been 10 years since I made that commitment to my student. This recognition cele celebrates his commitment to himself and his perseverance in achieving his high school equivalency diploma. When he was 17 years old, and in an interview to enter to the program at the time called GD, his dream was to be a professional baseball player. Without waiting to discourage him or to break his illusion, I advised him to also finish his high school education. Fourth time, he tried to finish the GD. But in three of them, his score was expired. It was on his fourth attempt that his success, and today he is present in this high set graduation. During those 10 years, he has to go to work to help his mother and sister. He started out as a regular employee 
in McDonald's, but his aspiration did not end there. He decided to change jobs and start at one of the Burger King franchise. He started as a regular kitchen employee. He was promoted to restaurant chief coordinator, then assistant manager, and today is a general manager of his store. <laughs> his aspiration done and there. He wants to be district manager and then start his own business in his native country of Dominican Republic. The recipient of this promise is Luis Vasquez. Not only I am give this a recognition for the commitment I made, but also as an example of Luis' perseverance, dedication, and devout brother, son, and husband. I am proud to give Luis a special recognition with my gift of the well-deserved vacation in this country or Dominican Republic or Costa Rica or Las Vegas. Let the welcome your partner to the world again. Algunos están aquí, otros no, uh, pero me siento bien orgulloso que uh, mi familia también tuvieron arriba de mí para que terminara y todos mis profesores y mi Chinores fue uno de los que mucho me ayudó también a, a que pasara y, y gracias a Dios lo logré, lo que comencé. Aunque me duró mucho, pero lo logré. Gracias. Learning Center, and she is going to call out the names of all of the graduates as you come up. Please note the certificate you will receive is not a diploma, you already got that, but a certificate to commend you on your accomplishment. Raquel? Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure that you're all here sharing time with us. Um, I will be calling up the names one by one, so we will ask the first row to please stand up. Maria Alvarado. Johanny Bonilla Polanco. Jenny Caceres. Mm -hmm. 
Manfredi Cartagena. Javiachi Claudio. Magdalena Castro. Lorivi Colón. Melissa de la Cruz. Victor de la Cruz. Lidia Domínguez. Richard Dewey. Jerson Ferreira. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will ask the second row to please stand up. Celine Florentino. Deanna Ford. Eliza Friedman. Hipólita Garcia. Stephanie Gomez. Jessica Guzman. Paula Kellyman. Luz Lebron. Jomaira McKeck. Nensubuga Martón. Ashley Martinez. Rocio Martinez. Sihan Mackenzie.
Diana Mieses. Rosa Munción. Gretchen Morales. Xiomara Morales. Nicholas Morani. His family will be receiving his certificate today. Jocasta Kellys. Rosa Kihaba. Naidelin Rivera. Jenny Polanco. Walter Rosario. Wellington Sanchez.
Brunilda Santiago. Dayari Solano. Indira Suazo. Marcela Torres. Luis Vasquez. Jasmine Vasquez. Congratulations, graduates.
came back to teach in Lawrence, and I am still here and loving it. Not only was I the first member of my family to go beyond the eighth grade, but I was the first member of my family to obtain a high school diploma and to be a college graduate. And as the oldest of five children, all of my siblings looked up and followed me. I also have a daughter who is 20 years old. She is a sophomore. She'll be a junior this year at Salem State University. So yes, Magdalena, where are you? So yes, Magdalena, we are remarkable people. We are unique. We have now become leaders. There is more than one way to get to where we're going. The traditional path was not ours, nor were we ever quitters, no matter how long it took for us to get to where we needed to be. Now we have become the leaders. We are living proof that there is just not one way because our journeys are more unique when we make them our own. Congratulations. The end is near. Finally, I'd like to introduce Ms. Jocelyn Monte, our advisor for the HiSET program at the Adult Learning Center. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Uh, we're very really excited to see you all here today. Uh, and at the conclusion of our ceremony, we want to ask you to join the graduates in the foyer for cake and coffee. We also have a photo booth area, and we want you to take advantage of that. Graduates, please stand. You have tassels to be on your left side. Please change your tassels to the right side. Signifying that you are high school graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you the class of 2017.